Good morning, beautiful people! Good morning! Uh, welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. I'm Luca, she is Sara, and today we are sitting in uh, Luigi, our minivan, our little tiny home on wheels that we converted in just five weeks uh, last year. And why we are sitting inside Luigi? Because we have decided to upgrade Luigi. Finally! Is a mess. Ding, ding, ding. It is not shaking anymore. Ready to hit the road. Everyone deserves great pizza. Obviously, <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. Nice. As we told you many, many times, when you live inside your van, when you travel inside your van, you will understand what is good, what you need to improve, what you need to change. It's, it's the only way to learn how you can improve your vehicle. This week we have a to-do list, a lot of things that we will work on and we would like to start traveling again since uh, Italy is opening up a little bit more. We would like to travel again and stay with us till the end of this video because you will decide our next destination. Where are we going next? You decide. So stay with us until the end of this video. But now, <laughs> let's start working. Let's go. One year ago, we were here in this location working on building Luigi. And now we are back here improving and making some changes. And it feels good. It feels good because every time you work on your van, you are feeling and you are thinking and you are dreaming and you are imagining yourself traveling again and uh, we miss that a lot so it's good to be on this project again uh, in order to dream to travel again and uh, to be able to do it soon unfortunately we cannot work some magic or upgrade Luigi about the size yes we cannot make it bigger taller but uh, we can make it a little bit more comfortable and uh, improve some things uh, in order to be able to do more things with Luigi. But now I'm just starting with the, with the vent. Last year when we installed our roof vent, Fiamma team told us probably the knob will be too short, the handle, you know, so you could have some problems with opening and closing the, the rooftop vent. Now we bought this extension kit. So here you can see the size, uh, how short uh, the one we had on uh, is. And here you can see how long the other ones are. <laughs> So here, this was super short, so it wasn't uh, working properly. It should go like this and it was just standing like this. So now with a longer one, we should be able to, to close and open the window properly. Yes. The, the vent. Yes, exactly. And there he goes. Let me see from the outside. Finally! Now we are starting to work with the inverter. We had a problem with the last one, so Nicola Di Ciolla, Di Ciolla family of Energia Solare 100, Energia Solare 100, they send us a new one. Immediately. And immediately. Right. Thank so you guys. We will be installing it right now. Back there is the same size of the last one. It's so the same model. Same well. model, same size, so it's perfect. But in order to install it, we will need to remove this. Everything inside this van is removable. So we planned before we started to convert the van, we knew that we want everything inside this van removable. We can remove easily this cabinet here with the tank inside you see we have the tank inside here so this is one it's a modular van okay. basically to remove this part uh, we need to disconnect uh, 
the water pump uh, wires mm -hmm. and uh, the grey water tube that goes outside and then we are free to take it out. And it's brilliant because you can clean every time perfectly the floor. And look, I can have access to the inverter, the batteries. Here is where all our electric parts and things and uh, system uh, are stored. Yeah. Yes, everything we need to check, uh, inspect. Uh, and work with is in here. Every inch counts in this van. That's why we cannot move or add something at the layout we have studied last year. Done. Let's turn it on and see if it's working. So power and then power. Yeah. So you can see down here the guy is smiling, so everything is working. Happy face, good job. Done. Talking about the tires, we had the winter tires installed on Luigi. I went to the tire shop, to the mechanic, and we installed new summer tires. So now we are ready to go wherever we want during summer. And we will keep the winter tires stored uh, so we can use it next winter. What about the heater? We have the heater, we have everything, but uh, we will not be using Luigi in cold weather right now, so we will be installing that next uh, autumn, fall, winter, we'll see. For now, we'll just keep Luigi without the heater. We'll keep our gentle tent up there because this is precious just 23 kilos and if we will ever have some guests my brother Luca's brother or Luca's dad our family some or, friends or if we want to bring uh, Luciano or the bicycles inside exactly. or whatever that will fill up uh, the inside of the van we can still sleep up there and ah, guys we got the first dose of the vaccine of Pfizer a few days ago we are getting the first uh, shot, uh, the first dose uh, of the vaccine. Waiting. We made it. How do you feel now? <laughs> I feel good. I feel that uh, we are a step forward to be able to travel and maybe travel also internationally. For now we will start traveling here in Italy but we will see maybe we are in the good way to defeat uh, this pandemic we will get fully vaccinated mid-july so the second shot uh, the second yes. dose but we are happy it was a little bit painful the arm for the first 48 hours and we were really tired we felt really tired we need to sleep and lay down but today we are feeling great, so that's why we started to work on Luigi. What next? Next uh, we can uh, put uh, this back, the kitchen uh, slash uh, shower, <laughs> <laughs> cabinet and yes. the, the water tanks. Back in there, but yes. I, I still need to do some adjustments here. Hmm. I need to drill a hole and uh, put a pipe because when I'm trying to fill up uh, the fresh water tank, uh, the air is not going out from uh, from the tank, yes. so it's hard to put water inside because it builds uh, a, some pressure. So I need to drill a hole, put a pipe in order to release the the, the air, the oxygen that is in here, so we That's can great. we can fill it up. But Luca, let's be honest. How many times did we use the sink, the water? the we shower pro we probably fill it up uh, when we left uh, lucky land uh, <laughs> and that's it, that's it. Uh, we we didn't use a lot of uh, a big uh, huge amount of water mainly it was really really easy to have some uh, bottles uh, 
that we could uh, fill up uh, everywhere we were and uh, use yes. them but uh, now if uh, I will be able to fix this uh, maybe we'll be able to use this more it's pretty easy to fill up the tanks in the water tank in Italy because you can find potable water almost everywhere <laughs> Plugging back uh, the water pump. This is the pipe that we need to connect uh, again. And the pipe that goes outside for the grey water. Perfectly done. Okay, perfect. This cabinet inside where we store our plates, everything for for the kitchen is a mess. This is, is also our table when we eat inside, you see, and this is working pretty fine. But it's not easy when you need something to to use it because everything is falling if you need something you know here underneath then you need to take everything out so it's not the way we would like to have this space organized and then here is where we store our toiletries shampoo, see, shampoo. and it, it's it's quite tall my italian macgyver <laughs> i'm sure that he will find a great yes. solution for that made some elderflower syrup with our beautiful elderflowers so let's see how we made it we will need one kilo and 300 grams of sugar and one liter of water combine sugar water in a saucepan over medium heat stirring until the sugar is dissolved remove from it and allow the syrup to cool to room temperature I pick 30 elderflower blossoms remove any insects from the blossoms do not wash them as they will lose a lot of flavor we will trim the thick stems away from the elderflowers add the blossoms and the lemon slices to a large glass jar or a big bowl pour this cool syrup into the jar bowl with the elderflower blossom make sure that the blossoms are immersed in the syrup cover the jar bowl with the lid or a tea towel and let it steep at cool temperature for 48 hours, stirring the syrup once daily. I would like you to taste the underflower syrup. Thank you very much. With some mint and ice. Wow! <laughs> Delicious. Like it? It's amazing. This summer, this will be my favorite drink. <laughs> we grew up in South Tyrol drinking this. Instead of sodas, we have this. Beautiful. Nice! Sana! 
Well done. Now we need to do the other one that yes. we cannot fit the drill in there, so we will need to use a screwdriver. This little mm -hmm. tiny small screwdriver. Perfect for ding, Luigi. Ding, 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 ding. The E is missing an accent. So it is La Vita e Bella. It's here. Yeah. We need to, La we need vita to, e bella. We need to glue it. Since Sara has smaller hands, <laughs> she is doing this job. Really mo small, tiny space in there. This is a huge upgrade. Wow. Now it's time to paint. What are you? I'm using a stain, a water-based stain. It's made for interiors because it doesn't smell bad and too strong, you know, for interiors. So uh, basically we use it for the entire wood cladding and the entire wood that we use uh, to build uh, all the cabinets. It like doesn't it. change so much the color, just a little bit. You like it? Yes because it looks like a sauna inside here yes. and the smell still after one year is amazing I love the, the perfume yeah. of the wood we are in our guest room that we renovated a few weeks ago and this is our slide out bed, Luigi's bed and uh, today we will be upgrading it uh, because uh, as you can see the legs uh, are moving uh, so we will put some reinforcers uh, like this so the legs will not move anymore this is not shaking anymore Try to move it. Let's put everything inside Luigi back again. Now we have something that we would like to unbox together with you guys because it's something that I think we will love and we will enjoy using a lot of times. We would like to go with this new thing together with Luigi on a little adventure and have lunch outdoor. Yes. So what is what do we have inside here? We can see from the box. I love the motto. Everyone deserves great pizza obviously <laughs> yes and i'm a pizza lover so this gift uh, is uh, something that i really appreciate thank you so much uni this oven is called uni karu and it's a wood and charcoal fired pizza oven you can use it also with gas and it's amazing because weights only 12 kilos 26 pounds so you can carry this wherever you want whenever you need and Luca needs pizza every single day no, I'm joking at least <laughs> once a week come on yes once a week it's okay Sarita yes. these are for you instructions <laughs> We need to put this in Luigi straight away. You like your new bag, Luca? Yes. Your purse? Yeah. <laughs> I will bring this with me everywhere, everywhere I go. Welcome home. Hola. Perfecto. Sí. We have prepared 
this pizza dough this morning so now we are ready to make our pizza you can find the authentic Italian pizza recipe in our cookbook in our digital cookbook I will put the link in the description box below this video the book is called La Vita è Buona Life is Good and you will find 28 authentic Italian recipes ready to hit the road We arrived. This will be our camp spot for today and for tonight. Beautiful. You can hear the cows. Yes, down there. It's really quiet here. We are almost 1000 meters above sea level. The temperature is fantastic. This is one of the hundreds of trails we have in Piedmont. Ah, I love the breeze. Beautiful, but we have a job to do. And we are pretty hungry. Yes. Okay, now we need to start uh, the, the fire to heat up uh, the um, oven because uh, it has to go to high temperature to burn and clean uh, all the inside uh, if there are some oils or there is something to, to be cleaned and then after doing that for a half an hour we'll be able to clean it and then uh, start another fire to cook our pizza If there is something that Italians love as aperitivo, olives. Olives. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Mm. Okay, it's time to clean it. Uh, Ready. The oven is clean. Let's prepare the pizza. You ready? This is our first try. <laughs> okay. Almost one minute. Okay, we're good to go. Yes? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, there you go. Nice! Beautiful. This was our first try. We let it too much, so it burned a little bit. This is our second try. We have two more to go. We hope to get better, better and better. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Really good. Spectacular. Like in a pizzeria. Yes, delicious. I was collecting a lot of wood, uh, but at the end uh, you just need few pieces, uh, few small pieces of wood uh, and you can just heat up this oven so hot uh, that it's yeah, amazing. And quick. Yes. And then to cook the pizza, 
it's not just written on the box 60 seconds. It's yes. impressive. It's 60 seconds and the pizza is done. It's ready. It's amazing. Yes, we love it. it's about 15 seconds. Then you turn it a little bit. Yeah. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. At the end, uh, when you reach uh, 60 seconds, uh, it's already cooked. It's amazing. Right. Wow. This time looks great. delicious mm. it's good to be back outdoors with Luigi into nature on the road and speaking about on the road it's time guys that you decide where we'll be traveling next so what will be our next destination we have three options and you will be choosing the best one and the one you like more and exactly. we will be going there so the first option is Amalfi Coast. The second option is uh, Sicily. And the third and last option is Apulia. Puglia! Please comment below. We will count all the votes. We will make the same question on Instagram, on Facebook, on Patreon. And Patreon votes uh, will count double. Exactly, so yes. At the end, uh, we will see which one wins. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm excited. Yes, cool. I can I can't wait to be back on the road, guys. Yeah, me too. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, sure to us smashing that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's free and it's the easiest way to support us. Luigi is almost ready to hit the road. Yes. It's me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> the upgrades were pretty cool. Why we didn't we install. didn't install the bike rack? We didn't say it before in this video. Okay, so when we got that uh, bike rack, uh, we wanted to bicycles, but we didn't know that we would get two e-bikes. Uh, yeah, we were thinking about two non non electric bikes, two bikes that we could have, you know, with us on the road. Yes, so Usually normal bikes uh, are about uh, 15 kilos or a little bit less mm -hmm. so that um, bike rack uh, is made uh, for maximum 30 kilos uh, that means uh, two normal bikes but the problem is that one e-bike uh, is uh, 30 kilos so yeah, probably without the battery a little bit less but even too much for this kind of bike rack that we that we have so we we will figure out what to do yes. if install it and just bring one bicycle and put the other one inside or search for another bike rack we will decide yeah. we should be back in piedmont because we have the second dose of our vaccine in july so our travel uh, for the next weeks will be short, will not be a long yes. period. The Italian words for today's video are Forno per la pizza Pizza oven Dove vai? Where are you going? Decidi tu You decide Forno per la pizza Pizza oven Dove vai? Where are you going? Decidi tu You decide Thank you so much again to Uni for sending us this incredible, great, portable pizza oven we enjoyed so much and we will enjoy it with families Even more. and friends exactly you can bring it with you in yes. the mountains uh, on the seaside uh, beside a, a river a lake uh, wherever you like we love you we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us and we will see you next sunday remember la vita bella <laughs> life is beautiful and <laughs> ciao so we will see you <laughs> So we will see you next Sunday and remember la vita bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. From us, Peta. From us, from the pizza oven. 
from Luigi. us and from the woods. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. We have the wheat. Winter tired, uh, stored. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. We were just here. Just. Three different sizes. Uh, we will try. Sizes. Uh, si dice la ganciata. Bureaucracy. No, no. We put this outside and we have the. Next uh, autumn uh, or. Autumn, autumn. Next uh, fall. Next. The roof will be. No. Sunrise. Sunset. Wood, charcoal, food. Okay. I will put the link in the description. Had it. We didn't knew that we would get new e-bikes. Decidete voi. No. Where are you going? Dove andate? Dove vai? Decidete voi. Decidi tu. Volare. Felice di stare lassù con te.